Hello everyone and welcome to Haunted Gas Station. Uh, this is a free Unity horror game on Steam. It was recommended to me by my cousin and I figured I'd give it a try. I figured, you know, it's probably going to be pretty short and it'll be a good opportunity to test the face cam with an actual lighting setup this time, unlike in Bunker 16. So let's press start, E to interact, WASD to move, mouse to look. So there's not going to be too much to this as expected. Ah, no signal. At least I have a flashlight on this thing. As smartphones tend to work, even though... Maybe somebody at that gas station will have somebody that can help me out? So, first impressions. I'm assuming a lot of these are uh, reused or bought assets, because a lot of them don't really match in terms of art style at all. Uh, there's nothing on my phone, so I don't know how I know I don't have a signal. Can't turn the light on the phone on and off. And to top it all off, this is some really scary hand that I got here. I look like a corpse. Maybe that's the twist. Anyway, let's head on down the road, and... Uh, why am I moving to the side? I think I just heard a whisper from the woods. And, oh, there's actual... I Hang on. There's actual traffic. I know I heard a whisper from the woods. Hang on, let me turn my headset volume up. Alright, I don't hear it now, but I... I could have sworn I heard whispers from the woods. It's not running super great. And one thing that I notice, if I press the W key, or any movement key, I'll continue moving for about a full second after I take my finger off the key. That's a little bit awkward. I can't sprint, so presumably I won't have to run. Hello? Uh, anyone here? Oh, that's loud. I hope that won't be there the whole okay, time. That radio's gotta get turned off. I can't okay, good. Think. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. This used to be a drive through window, presumably in whatever bought asset this is. Unless they're gonna do something with that. Hello? I heard the radio click off. Is someone out there? I'm, uh, over in the bathroom. Yeah, it's a good thing you told me that, because the sound of your voice isn't exactly directional. This place is quite a bit more sparse compared to the convenience store. Hang on, I'm going to critique your operation. Hot new releases. Max Pun, Robocoop. Oh, wait, hang on, this is great. Max Pun, Robocoop. And look, see, there's a chicken, because it's coop. Diet Hard, and there's a chef. Reservoir Frogs, and Mall Carp. And it's probably going to be a lot more of the same over here. That's clever. That's real clever. All right, what do you want? Yeah, hey, so I hit a deer off the road a bit. I was wondering if you could help me out. Oh, that happens a lot around here. So, uh, I locked myself in here by mistake. I left the key around back. Uh, if you wouldn't mind getting me out of here, uh, I'll help you out, man. Sure thing, man. I'll be right back with that key. All right, so I guess I have to go around back and get the key. Out into the dark, spooky night. And it sounds like the radio is on again, but it's coming from over here now. Maybe that's supposed to be the sink? Right. Well, the eerie music is playing, so I don't know if that means I missed a jump scare. Oh. Oh, what man, the frame rate is pretty bad back here. All right, but where am I gonna find this key? He said he left it out back. Was it in his car? No? In the trash, maybe? I don't see any key. Ah, here we go. Pick up key. This is a dead end, so I'm assuming that means it wants me to go back a certain way, which means it's gonna hit me with something or other. Uh, what, 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 I expected a scare, but I didn't expect it to come in such a way. Good job, game. I think maybe it lingered a little long, but... Listen, man, there is something going on outside. Hello? Ah! 
Okay, nope. Back to my van. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, best reaction ever. What is that? Oh, that is actually really scary. Uh, all right, run, 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 run. I can't move. I can't go the street. Ah! Oh. All right. Um. Well, my mouse isn't on the screen, so I don't know how to. Game. My mouse is not on the screen. Okay, I guess we'll retry by replaying the whole game over again. Nope, back to my van. Here we go. And there is evil monster. Run, 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 run. Am I gonna drive? Or are they just gonna jump scare me again? Hello? Hey! <laughs> okay, can I leave now? Or are they just gonna hit me again? Hello? No, hey! A car! They can get me out of here! Yeah, I don't think they're gonna be getting me out of here. All right, run, run, run. Where did they go? Did they park at the gas station or do I have to follow it up the road? I didn't even see where they went. Oh, there they are. Oh, wow, actual human characters modeled in the game. Help me out. Oh, oh I guess that's it for them. But now what? Hey, hold up. Uh, does it want me to do something? I feel like that line came a little late. Can't get in their car. Okay, I think something's glitched out, because there's nobody anywhere and nothing I can do. Okay, I'm playing this again because I decided I do want to complete this and see where it goes, so I guess I have to chase her into the woods. Hey, hold up! I only noticed in editing that she comes out this way. Oh. Well, it looks like she didn't make it very far. Oh, but there's a key here. And another one of these radios. Let's grab that key, but the key to what? get into their car and get out of here. Okay, so back to her. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ah. Ah. Game over. Game? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Where even was it? Oh, and of course I can't... Of course there's no way to retry. Alright, time to get into their car and get out of here. Come on. Come on. Did I do it? I think I did it. Okay. All right. So that was Haunted Gas Station. That was a good effort. I can definitely see what they're going for here, and I even was legitimately scared a couple of times. There were a couple of good scares, like, you know, the tension of going out back to that eerie music and then the rabbit pops out and it's kind of a fake-out scare. Speaking of a rabbit popping out... But, you know, then there was also, you know, probably the highlight was being in the van and looking around, and it actually builds that tension for a surprisingly long time before it hits you with the jump scare. And there's something about the voice acting that I actually found really enjoyable to listen to. I liked the voice acting a lot. It was really rough in terms of programming and scripting and all that, because there were a lot of problems. Like, I died a couple of times, and each time I had to completely restart the game. Uh, when that woman disappeared, I 
wasn't you know looking back in editing i could see that she ran away but because i had gotten so close by the time it happened i couldn't see where she went and it wasn't clear what i was supposed to be doing but for a short little free experience it wasn't bad and i could definitely see what the developer was going for i did notice on steam between the first recording session and this one that uh, this developer has put out two more games one that came before and one that came after so maybe i'll check those out at some point but until then thanks for watching and i'll see you next time